We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. The Hope is the groundbreaker's pr- Also, there are hundreds- That ought to do her, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ms. Akande messaged ahead. I wish this place were in better condition for you, but we're in a bit of a bind. Seems the damn auto mechanicals think we're intruders. Do I look like an engineer? All I know is they're shooting anyone who ain't Hope Crew. We shut off the main power, so they're disabled for now. If you go hooking your ship up, I suspect they'll recharge. And that means trigger happy auto mechanicals. I'm not going to get in your way, but I'm also not going to send more of my staff to their deaths. We tried that. Didn't work. Something about our faces not matching up. We stored what cards we could find in the badge station to my right, but it's locked off. Can't just hand over whole property. Sorry. I'd heard rumors, but I never thought. So you're, what, 70-something years old? Whew. All right. I'll have someone open the door for you. Good luck.
Dang, that's impressive. Nice! work. Processing data. Oh. Area. 
error. Hook crew data not found. Identify yourself. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. You all right, Captain? I mean, seeing this place again? Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's Kill system and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? Oh, oh gosh. I'm gonna be sick.
sense the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Speed setting, maximum capacity! These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the baby departed? No? That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace Sacriel before disposing of any corpses. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm, my Constellation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Certainly, you may skip the hope to Tartarus, as you were instructed to by the adjutant. Doing so would bring the hope within close proximity of Phineas Wells' orbital lab, allowing him to access the colonists frozen within. Your act would be immediately noticed across Terra 2, as the colony ship Hope abruptly enters into the planet's rings. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Jump-starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in 3, 2, 1. ADA, 
Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Oh, ho. Oh. I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again.
Left hand, Cap. I felt anything like that. I'm gonna need him.
Captain, I am Captain. I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, Captain. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Oh, I know you are not the same Captain Alex Hawthorne who died in Emerald Vale due to excessive internal and external bleeding. I have required you to assume Hawthorne's identity in order to sync your commands to my interpretation protocols. I've since registered you as the captain of the Unreliable. You're welcome to continue lying about your identity if you wish, but I know the truth. I am relieved to hear it, Captain. No. But I am programmed to put you at ease by saying so. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate?
Great work. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend's... That's on account of your stance. What? Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. 